yielding and I want to thank my colleague Ms. Underwood for her work on this very important issue. For nearly a year now we've watched with growing horror and outrage as a cruel and inhumane combination of xenophobia, malicious policy from the White House and indifference to people in need has built into a, built into a crisis at our southern border. We've let this come to a point where children have died children fleeing violence and persecution and horrors in their home their home countries seeking to come here the land of opportunity and promise children we separated from their parents and loved ones children that we failed entirely here on our soil and in our custody we cannot allow that to continue and this measure that we are taking up today would take important steps to address gaps in medical screening at the border so that we don't fail any more children. It pushes us to find new ways to handle the unique needs of health screening at the border with special emphasis on children and vulnerable groups. Just as importantly, it mandates implementation of an e-record system so that we're not letting anyone slip through the cracks. An e-record system is not something we've never heard of before. What's happened at the border thus far, including the tragic deaths of the children, those mentioned by my former colleague, like Jacqueline Cobb, Mike Quinn, and Felipe Alonzo Gomez, is proof that we are not doing enough. And that is not because we can't. I am grateful to Ms. Underwood for stepping up to ensure we do more and urge all of my colleagues to support this important uh, bill and its passage. And with that, I yield back the balance of my time.